Hi everyone, in this video, I am going to discuss about a bacterial species known as Staphylococcus aureus. First of all, we can start with an introduction to genus Staphylococci. Okay. Here, Staphylococci are gram-positive cocci that occur in grape-like clusters. That is, Staphylococci are rounded in shape and they are arranged in grape-like structures or grape-like clusters. Then, this Staphylococci genus are ubiquitous in nature. That is, they can present everywhere in the environment and are the most common cause of localized separative lesions in the humans. They are the most common reason for the localized inflammatory or separative lesions in the humans. Okay. And this Staphylococci or this bacteria have ability to develop resistant towards many antibiotics like penicillin. And this resistance enhances their importance as a human pathogen, especially in the hospital environment. They have the ability to develop resistance towards pencil. Hence, they become most important human pathogen, especially in as hospitalized infections. Okay. Then, this genus Staphylococci were first observed in human pyogenic lesion, which is first recognized by the scientist one Reckling Hewson in 1871. And it was Sir Alexander Ugston who gave it the name Staphylococcus. Staphyl means bunch of grapes, coccus means berry. Okay. And this name Staphylococcus is due to typical occurrence of the cocci in grape-like clusters in pus as well as in cultures. Hence the scientists gave it name as Staphylococci. Then most of the Staphylococcal strains are pigment producing. That is they have ability to produce pigment on the solid media. Here some of the Staphylococcal species like Staphylococcus aureus isolated from pyogenic lesions were found to produce golden yellow colored colony. Whereas some normal flora of our skin like Staphylococcus albus produces white colored colony on solid media. Here you can see white colored as well as yellow colored colony on the solid media. Then there is another species like Staphylococcus citrus can produce lemon yellow colored colony on solid media okay next we are going to discuss about the identical features of staphylococcus aureus okay first of all its morphology here staphylococcus aureus are spherical cocci approximately one micrometer in diameter and they are arranged in grape like clusters we already told that this staphylococcus genus are rounded in shape and arranged as grape like clusters right and this cluster formation is due to their cell division occur in three planes and their daughter cells tending to remain in close contact with the, the parent cell. That is why they are presented or arranged as grape-like clusters. Okay. Then they are non-motile and non-sporic. They do not have any locomotory organelles for movement. Hence, they are non-motile and non-spore forming organism. Then, some of the strain possess capsule. That is, some of them are capsulated, particularly in young cultures. Okay. But, non-capsulated strains have small amount of capsular material on their surface. Some of them are non-capsulated, some of them are capsulated and the non-capsulated strains have a small amount of capsular material around their surface. Okay. Here you can see the gram stained picture of Staphylococcus aureus and in influence of or under the influence of penicillin or certain chemicals or antibiotics, this Staphylococcus aureus changes their shape and occur in L forms. Okay, next is about their cultural characteristics. That is, what are the important environmental factors should be provided for their maximum growth and multiplication. Okay, here Staphylococcus aureus can grow on ordinary media like nutrient agar within a temperature range of 10 to 42 degrees Celsius and their 
optimum being 37 degree celsius okay and they have a ph range of 7.4 and 7.6 and uh, they are aerobes and facultative anaerobes that is they can grow in the presence of oxygen as well as in the absence of oxygen okay then next is about their colony morphology on different types of media first of all on nutrient agar after the incubation for 24 hours they produces large circular convex smooth shiny opaque as well as easily emulsifiable colonies and uh, most of the staphylococcal strains produces golden yellow pigment and uh, this pigment when does not diffuse into the media they are incorporated in their uh, colony and form colored colony on the nutrient agar okay and this pigment production only occur in the aerobic culture uh, and this production optimum at 22 degree celsius and this pigment production can be enhanced when one percentage glycerol monoacetate or milk is incorporated in the media that is the pigment production can be enhanced by the help of two compound uh, that is glycerol monoacetate or milk when is added into the media okay then on nutrient agar slopes that is nutrient agar slants this staphylococcus aureus produce confluent growth with the oil paint appearance okay then on blood agar the colonies are similar to those on nutrient agar that is the colony morphology of blood agar is similar or same as that of nutrient agar but they shows hemolysis hemolysis means degradation of rbc or erythrocyte present in the blood agar okay and this hemolysis occur when incubated under 20 to 25 percentage carbon dioxide as well as rabbit or sheep blood agar shows more hemolysis than horse blood agar but human blood is not suitable for the growth of staphylococcus aureus because it contain antibodies or other inhibit inhibitors that prevent the growth of such organism okay then on maconky agar they produce smaller colonies that are pink in color due to lactose fermentation that is staphylococcus are lactose fermenting so they produce a pink colored colony on maconky agar okay here you can see the hemolysis as well as pink colored colony on blood agar as well as maconky agar okay then on liquid media they produce uniform turbidity then for the selective isolation of staphylococcus aureus there are some selective medias like salt milk agar salt broth lutlam's media robertson cooked meat media etc these are the some selective media for the isolation of uh, staphylococcus aureus from the mixed culture okay next is about their biochemical reactions or biochemical characteristics here staphylococcus aureus can produce catalase enzyme hence they shows catalase test is positive and oxidase test is negative that is they cannot produce oxidase enzyme okay then they can reduce nitrates to nitrites and liquefy gelatin by the production of gelatinase enzyme then in case of urease test they shows positive result due to their ability to produce urease enzyme okay then in case of invic reaction they shows indol negative methyl red vogus proscar as well as citrate utilization test are positive next we are going to discuss about the resistance of staphylococcus aureus okay here staphylococcus aureus can remain viable for three to six months on dried threads and have been isolated from dried pus after two to three months that is they remain viable in the dried pus up to three to sorry two to three months okay then the staphylococcus aureus are heat stirred that is they can withstand up to 60 degrees celsius for 30 minutes and they can be destroyed only heating at 80 degrees celsius for one hour then the staphylococcus aureus also resistant to some antiseptics like phenol mercury perchloride etc that is they resist one percentage phenol for 15 minutes and one percentage solution of mercury perchloride for 10 minutes then most of the staphylococcus aureus strains are 
resistant to antibiotic common antibiotic known as penicillin that is we already told that they have ability to develop resistant towards many antibiotics like penicillin okay in the pre antibiotic era staphylococci are sensitive to penicillin and penicillin came to be used clinically for the treatment of staphylococcal infection but soon after this uh, resistant strains are emerged first in hospital as well as in the community okay now most of the staphylococcal strains become resistant to penicillin this penicillin resistance of staphylococcus aureus is due to the following reasons first of all the production of beta lactamase beta lactamase is an enzyme known as penicillinase enzyme which inactivate penicillin by splitting the beta lactam ring present in the penicillin that is the staphylococcus aureus have ability to produce this beta lactamase or penicillinase enzyme that make them resistant to penicillin okay by splitting or inactivating penicillin by the uh, degradation of beta lactam ring present in the penicillin okay and staphylococcus produces four types of penicillinase enzyme that is a to d and hospital strains mainly produces penicillinase a and this penicillinase enzyme is an inducible enzyme and its production usually controlled by the plasmids present in the staphylococcus aureus that is this production of penicillinase enzyme encoded by the genes present in the plasmids of staphylococcus aureus okay then next reason is alterations in the penicillin binding protein and changes in the bacterial surface receptors this alteration or change in the bacterial surface receptor reducing the binding of beta lactam antibiotic to the cell hence they become resistant to penicillin or such antibiotics here the this change is normally chromosomal in nature that is the change in bacterial receptors is encoded by the gene present in the chromosomal dna of staphylococcus aureus okay again this antibiotic that is penicillin need a bacterial surface receptors for binding and to inhibit the organism but such organism or staphylococcus aureus undergo changes in their bacterial surface receptors that reduces or inhibit the binding of penicillin into their cell surface okay hence they become resistant to penicillin and in case of staphylococcus aureus this resistance also extend to other antibiotics like methicillin cloxacillin etc hence such strains are known as mrsa that is methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus okay and the some strains of mrsa also shows resistant towards other antibiotics like erythromycin tetracycline and other heavy metals and cause outbreak of hospital infection such strains is known as epidemic methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus emrsa okay another reason for the resistance of staphylococcus aureus towards penicillin is development of tolerance to penicillin by which the bacterium is only inhibited but not killed that is staphylococcus aureus become resistant to penicillin by their tolerance to such antibiotics that's all about this video will you meet with next section of this video thank you